today I am sharing with you some rustic yet modern DIYs with some of the items that I've already had and even some thrifted finds. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I have recently thrifted this lamp and it is so beautiful. It has so much potential. The shape of this lamp is just gorgeous, but not necessarily my color palette. It reminds me very much of the Studio McGee lamp for $350 or this lamp for almost $900. But you get the point. This is kind of the inspiration that I'm grabbing to create this beautiful rustic lamp. So starting off here with the base, this lamp you guys cost me $7.99. So this is such a great way to kind of create your own by thrifting. I am using some dry decks spackling, I'll be using some sandpaper, and some of my favorite paint colors here, I have some colors in olive oil, French linen, and desert tan are usually the three colors that I go for when DIYing any project just because it is in my color palette. I am going to start off by cleaning this piece since it was thrifted there was some dusty grusties on there but cleaning this out and then I am going in with my sand block or sandpaper whatever you have on hand since this is a very smooth surface I want to go ahead and scuff it up a little bit that way my paint has something to kind of hold on to if your piece already has texture and it's already rough then you can go ahead and skip this part. Here I'm going to quickly wipe off the dust that we created by sanding this piece and here you can see all the little scratches that we created and this is going to make the paint stick very very nicely. The paint, the spackle, whatever you're using, it's going to stay. But now for the fun part, we are going to go ahead and use some dry deck spackling to create some texture. This stuff is great. It goes on pink, dries white, that way you know when it's dry. But I'm going to go ahead and put on my gloves and I'm just going to go right into it. This technique is so forgiving, it is so fun. You can create long strokes like I am doing here. You can do crisscross strokes, like whatever your heart desires. There is no right or wrong way to do this. I am creating more of a kind of antique-ish textured look. So the messier the better, but like I said before, you can go ahead and do any kind of strokes you want and this is a lot of fun. I now want to put texture on everything in my home. So now while this lamp dries, here's a quick word from our sponsor. I would like to thank Goodpick for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Today I am sharing with you yet another good pick. This is their extra large black and jute to woven basket. This wicker laundry basket has a simplistic design for your bedroom, living room or even your laundry room. This round basket has an extra large capacity to store blankets, towels, pillows, sheets, toys and anything else you might need. It has two easy to grab handles which make moving your items from room to room easy. I love to use these baskets to collect clothes or other items that need to be put away. We have a large family and items don't get put back in place all the time so this is a quick way of getting all of these items off of the floor and it's just such a quick and easy way to pick up and make everything look effortless and beautiful. In the same way, I use these baskets to fold our clean laundry. I can easily fit about two loads of laundry in these baskets. After all the laundry is folded back into the basket, I find it very easy to carry it from room to room to the next and to put the laundry away as I go. I have also used these baskets in my living room for a quick tidy. My blankets and pillows fill all in this basket and it looks so cute and beautiful, it was very quick and effortless and it looks wonderful here in my living room. If you would like to get your hands on one of these baskets, I will leave a link to the one I have as well as go to Good Picks website where you can choose a basket, 
color, shape, or size that's best for your home. Baskets are a great and easy way to organize the clutter in your home while keeping your home decorative at the same time. So thank you again Good Pick, for sponsoring today's video. So after roughly about two hours, this is what my lamp looks like. It is fully dry and it is ready to be sanded down. There are some rough patches, so I'm going to go ahead and use my sanding block to lightly sand down those harsh edges to create a very, very soft piece. Now it is time for the paint. I am using this tray that I use to color my items. I am mixing some of my favorite paint colors together and if you already have a paint color that you absolutely love, go ahead and use that. But I love to kind of create my own concoction to create a very custom look. But I am going to use this gray color for the base of my lamp and I'm not doing it any perfectly. I'm just going to go ahead and cover it in really quickly and it is totally okay if you have spackling showing through. Now I am grabbing a paper towel and dabbing a different paint color and dabbing that paint all over the lamp. So this technique is very forgiving. If you have too much paint, you can always blend it out. If you have too little, you can always blend it in. But this is not perfect. As you can see, the gray paint is coming off, which I actually love. I didn't let the gray paint set and dry all the way. It's kind of giving me more of that rustic beat up look, which is what I'm going for. Here I am grabbing yet another paper towel with another color and I am layering this color on top of the one that we just did and I just really want to create a aged look as if this lamp was standing out for years and years and has all of these beautiful colors and textures. This lamp is now dry. I'm going to go ahead and quickly style it. I'm going to add in a light bulb and a lampshade that I picked up from Walmart. It was a very, very affordable, but again, trying to create that Studio McGee look and I think it turned out so, so beautiful. I'm just going to go ahead and style these items really quickly and then we're going to move on to the second DIY. For this next DIY, I am using this antique wax and I'll be honest, it looked a little rough when I opened up the bottle. It had like this poopy, barfy, green, excuse the description, but I cannot describe it anymore. But I had this tray that I have previously whitewashed and I absolutely love it. But when I set it on my console table here in my living room, it just clashed too much. My little living room needed a little bit pop of warmth. so. When this wax goes on, it is the most beautiful, beautiful warm brown ever. I want to go ahead and stain everything this color now. And this tray is already something I had. So a little tip for you guys, if you get tired of your decor or if you feel like you need a little upgrade or a little change, 
try spray painting something try putting a stain on something it completely transforms the look but after I went ahead and put this wax on this board, it was looking so, so beautiful. I did go ahead and let it dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and quickly style it and show you how beautiful it looks here in my living room. This box here is also something that I've already had and it is so beautiful but as you can see the color of the wood tone on my credenza with the box clashes so what did I do? I went ahead and stained it also and now it's just a beautiful pop of color. This here is another thrifted lamp that I got for $7.99 and I am going to use the exact same technique that I used on my other lamp but the fact that the shape of this lamp is different, it completely looks different from the other lamp. So even though the colors and the technique was all the same, the end result came out completely different and so beautiful and elegant. Here I'm going to go ahead and sand it down wipe everything clean and go ahead and use the same spackling that I did before to go ahead and put it on this lamp and I'll say this that I wish for this lamp I didn't do the long strokes I wish I did a more of like a crisscross to create a little bit of a different look but nonetheless it did turn out really really beautiful. Here we are after a couple hours. Again, there are some rough edges here on this lamp. I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down just to smooth it all out. By the time I was painting this lamp, I was running low on paint. So as you can see, there are different shades of colors here, but honestly, in the end, it came out so beautiful. It had variation of colors. These colors worked very well together. And just like the other lamp, before this base painting color here gets a chance to dry, I'm going to go ahead and mix in a different color that I'm going to go ahead and dab with a paper towel. And like I said before, the fact that the, some of the spackling comes off when you dab the paint kind of creates a aged look to the lamp. give this lamp a couple minutes to go ahead and dry and I'm gonna go ahead and add a lampshade and style it here in my living room. Another thing that I did have are these little pedestals from the Target dollar spot. I got these years and years back, but they're looking rough. They're looking rough and I want to go ahead and spruce them up a little bit. So I am using that same antique wax to go ahead and paint all of this. And I use these throughout my home all the time to put lamps on, to put vases, whatever your heart desires. It just completely makes your pedestals look brand new.
hope you guys enjoyed these five simple DIYs. I hope this encouraged you to DIY some stuff that you have. Maybe go ahead and thrift some stuff. Make it very unique to your home. Thank you for being here and I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye.